Excuse me, are you Adam Graham? The very same. And this is my old time radio snack wagon. Welcome to the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon, where we serve up a bite-sized portion of old-time radio. And now, here's your snack wagon host, Adam Graham. A year ago, my wife and I fulfilled a lifelong dream and went to Hawaii for our 20th anniversary. We were there for four days, and even though we only got to experience a little bit of it, the beauty and history leaves an indelible impression. I don't know whether we'll ever go back in person, but through the magic of radio, we can always go back and even travel to places we never went before. And that's before you throw in the benefits of time travel. Hawaii fascinated old-time radio listeners. There are many episodes of old-time radio programs about Hawaii, as well as many standalone series. Among them were Hawaii Calls, Hawaiian Fantasies, Hawaiian Adventures, and the show we're going to bring you today, Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Royal Hawaiian Hotel was produced by Transco. It was one of many programs they created and syndicated for around two decades. They initially started with music programs, but later on they would move on to a wide field of drama and comedy programs, which would be placed on disc and shipped to stations throughout the U.S. and allow local and regional advertisers to offer quality programming that could compete with the network offerings. This episode comes from 1934. It is the third episode of the series and provides an interesting musical taste of the islands at that time. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
you step out of this gorgeous ballroom at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel to take a turn in the garden between dances, you hear still another kind of music, the splash and tinkle of water in the Japanese mountains. When you motor around the island, you will enjoy the many waterfalls. One of them flows upward. These fox trots, written by King Kalakau himself, are in praise of the cool, refreshing water. Aina Hau, Konie, Koniau, Ikawai, tasting the water. was riding the surfboard. Lots of new ones at it. Good sports to all of them. And here they are, finishing the day dancing. Right now, it's a dreamy waltz. It's a Hawaiian night, you know, and moonlight swims are part of the program. Water is warm, sunlight or moonlight. This waltz, by the way, is too violent. Waikiki Beach. You can hear the gentle swish of that great surf you know from this Royal Hawaiian Hotel ballroom. In fact, we're right on the beach. Just a step from your room right into the water. That's half the fun. Bathing suits, all colors. Sue Carroll had one on today that was the last word. By the way, there she is now, and is she stunning? On the beach or in the ballroom. Have you seen her in Speedway, Grass, and the movie Tone Follies? She's talking now with Betty Thompson, whom you've seen and loved in The Miracle Man, The Street Girl, The Barker, and oh, so many other pictures. Why, Betty Thompson, imagine finding you here in Honolulu. Do, darling. Sit down here and tell me everything. What did you come over? Hey, sure, I think it's grand to see you. Is it lovely here at the Royal Hawaii? It's the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen. What can you see? What are you doing here? Well, it's kind of a secret, Betty. Ooh, secret? Well, I'll tell you. But you mustn't breathe a word to anyone. I'm over here 
Right. To whom? No, no, no. I'm serious. You remember? I've always wanted to write. But I never had the inspiration to tell you. Tell me, who's the inspiration? Oh, you're wrong, Miss Paul. It's just the beauty of these eyes. Oh, they're so romantic. Indeed, they are. But what's the story all about? Well, I'm writing the most original picture story of the year. That sounds interesting. Listen. The opening shot is a boat nosing into Honolulu Harbor in the fog. But two, they don't have fog here. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll fake the fog. We'll dub that shot. It's now, the tiny detective gets off the train, but they don't have any trains here. Oh, that doesn't matter. We can fake the train. We'll dub that shot. Really? She falls in love with a palm gently waving in the background. That's beautiful. You know, I'm in love with a palm myself. A terrific storm comes up. A knock is heard on the door. And there, there stands another girl from Omaha, Nebraska. No, Omaha. Okay, Sue. We feel dubbed that shot. The naked girl realizes her love is lost. The surf is pounding on the coral reef. The giant redwood trees are crashing all around the little grass shack. But, Sue, there are no giant redwoods in Hawaii. Oh, I know, Betty. We'll dub the shot. I see. The detective gets dashes up to the door on the surfboard just as dawn is breaking over the grass shack top. The native girl sings all lower. But that's as far as I've got. I can't get a finish. Well, that could be simple, too. Look, why don't you have me play golf for the girl? Hmm. That ain't too cold. Next and next. Who, the boy and the girl? No. The villain and the hero. The villain takes his last touch. But the hero, well, what do you think? What? He dubbed that shot. Marvelous, Betty. And the girl jumps into the volcano. Very original. And they live happily ever after. How did you get? Well, sir, <laughs> I'll be seeing you around sometime. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> well, goodbye, huh? Uh, you know, uh, I don't think Betty liked that story. Familiar faces here in the ballroom of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. Travelers from all over the world come back every year. It's just like coming home. And Keamoku's music is a welcoming voice. Hala Pony, Hawaiian translation of California. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to Keamoku Lewis and his Royal Hawaiian. This program has come to you from the ballroom of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel in Honolulu. Your announcer, Charles Frederick Lindsay. Aloha. Welcome back. The conversation was probably the most challenging part of the transcription to hear, but it was still interesting to hear Hollywood being dinged for lack of originality 90 years ago. Beyond that, Royal Hawaiian Hotel transported listeners through troubled times to a place of peace and beauty that some would see for themselves but for others, they would only visit in their dreams. It's time for me to close up the old snack wagon, but don't worry, we'll be back with another serving of old-time radio goodness before you know it. If you want to enjoy some of our longer-form podcasts, you can feast away at my website at greatdetectives.net. Your emails are also welcome at adam at snackwagon.net. The Old Time Radio Snack Wagon comes to you from Boise, Idaho. Your host is Adam Graham. Sound production is by Rhines Media, LLC. You can listen to past episodes of the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon as well as connect on social media at our website at snackwagon.net. Email suggestions for episodes to adam at snackwagon.net. This has been the Old Time Radio Snack Wagon. Until next time, goodbye.